those of you might have already seen my report where a conservative candidate uh, for British Columbia, former NDP actually, Gwen O'Mahony, just walked up and showed the world that on the taxpayer's dime, you could walk up to the Nanaimo hospital and just with, I think she said two or three steps, there she is, and get your free crack pipe in front of the emergency Jeez. room there and your free coke snorting kit and the kicker instructions on how to do drugs. And I love what uh, Gwen O'Mahony said when I interviewed her or during her speech at the event I was at. She said something like, addicts know how to do drugs. So who are they giving instructions right. to? <laughs> like, who are the instructions for? So madness. And again, no users. yeah, so these have been in place. They cost about $2,000 a month to lease. I don't know how much they cost to fill. And of course, after that video went viral, an EB, just like the carbon tax, all of a sudden, no, oh, no, we have to have a review. I mean, they've been there, not just at this hospital, it was at a Victoria hospital too, and it was taken down. Um, the legacy media says, or the excuse that Island Health gave was that it was taken down because it was, it could have been like a, an issue if there was a fire. However, there are reports of staff saying that they were being hassled. If there was no crack pipe in the machine for them to sell to a kid to get drugs or something like that, they were getting hassled. Where's the crack pipes? Where's the crack pipes? So um, they're, what's interesting about this is EB initially said after that video went viral, okay, we're going to review this. Um, we're going to look into it. But the machines were supposed to stay in place. And now we see with new news here that the harm reduction kiosks have been pulled from the BC hospitals. So while this um, sort of investigation is still happening, he's like, pull them out. I'm, I'm sick of people probably talking about it. And uh, I think, again, it's all very connected to the election rather than being connected to what's best for the people. Um, one of the things here in this article that stood out to me was the leader of the Green Party's comment. Where is it? Sonia. How do you pronounce her last name? Funuz. <laughs> You're good with that French name you did earlier. Um, oh, I don't know. Johnny Duclos. <laughs> Johnny Duclos. Oh, it's, it might have been towards the bottom. I'm looking for it, but essentially she says, oh, it's it's so sad that these machines are going. And when they say that, they focus on the fact that they also have naloxone kits in them, which nobody's complaining about. <laughs> nobody's complaining about that, but um, they focus on that. And she says, oh, this is so th sad that this should um, be there. Are we finding her comment? Um, yeah. Oh, there, BC there Green it is. Party, yeah. BC Green Party leader, yeah. Sonia Firstenau told the Taiyi in an emailed statement, her party is deeply concerned deeply about concerned. the removal, the re removal of a quote, evidence-based solution to fill a service gap such as for people who needed to access harm reduction supplies. These Where? are not harm reduction supplies. These are like to help you harm yourself outside of a hospital or medical clinics operating hours. Right. And not only that, where is the evidence to support that giving any of these things without medical professionals there to help the person um, that there is no evidence to support that that's safe, that you could just walk up, learn how to use drugs, get the tools. I, and then I don't know, I cross don't the street. Want doctors to helping, I don't want doctors helping people do fentanyl at all. No, but like you I, should I just, have, just like no, get, get back into the emergency room. Kids got a broken is, arm. <laughs> what I'm getting at is there's no evidence to support that you should be able to just no. go do these things without a professional there to make sure it's safe. I mean, there is no, I mean, there is evidence, whether you agree with it or not, to support what they're trying to say for the safe supply. So that's what I'm saying. They do not have, it, have evidence that it's just there and you can do that. Um, but the other thing is, if she's so upset and her party's so upset, perhaps this could just go in front of her house. I mean, that might be. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, if you build yeah. it, they will come. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe that a problem solved. Is there any, I I can't even fathom these. You see, I live in a province where we care about uh, recovery and we yeah. we don't do this. We build treatment beds. This is what exactly. we do. We build treatment beds. We'll come and get you and we'll put you in a treatment bed and we'll keep you. And we've removed all the barriers to treatment. So there's no, like, mm -hmm. you don't have to pay. You just can go. And we're ramping up thousands upon thousands of treatment beds. We're putting them on reserve wherever they need to be. So That's this is- 
this is foreign to me, but is there any requirement to show like proof of age or can like a 13 year old who's like, you know, I'm curious about drugs. This is going to give me instructions on how to do it. Uh, But I don't have a crack pipe. How do I get one? So uh, like a kid can just go up there and get one. Are there like, these are free by the way. That's what I, I mean, I don't know if they ask your age, but I do know there is no, you do not have to prove anything that you're doing. I haven't seen this personally, but from the people who have, a kid can go up and do it. And in fact, in Gwen O'Mahony's video, you can actually hear little kids like screaming or playing in the background while she's standing there. Um, But of course, Island Health is like, this is in an area where there's not many kids. It's like, it's a hospital. So yes, kids end up going there. And so do people who are, you know, struggling with addiction and now they have to walk by you know on their way out uh hey here pick me pick me you're forgetting something the kiosks were set up on vancouver island last fall it's not even a year and collectively dispensed 18,253 items the kiosk at the nanaimo hospital alone dispensed 8,580 items there was I wonder an, which items. Yeah. Well, yeah. Probably. There was the another vending machine gone. at Victoria General Hospital, which was closed mid-December uh, uh, due to the chaos it uh, yeah. created, due to challenges with the location related to constrained space. So the mob yeah. of drug addicts trying to use it and fire alarm activity. So they were just pulling the fire alarm for funsies, I guess. Good grief. Jeez. Yeah, you guys got to do something different over there. That's another thing that he's flip flopped on, by the way, EB. Remember when he was like, yeah, we should give drugs to all the addicts. And then they're like, oh, everybody's addicted now. And and overdoses are skyrocketing. Maybe we shouldn't do safe supply. Well, so, decriminalization. It only correlated yeah. with way more overdo- overdoses. So now he recriminalized it. But the thought that he actually thought it was okay for these users to be using bike parks and things like that and nobody to be able to stop them is just ludicrous yes he's flip-flopped on that you gotta ask what exactly is the ndp's goal here like i mean without being a conspiracy theorist what are you expecting to happen when you completely remove all barriers and enable anyone anyone not only who is an active user but maybe is just curious wants to learn what's about i might as well just go to that machine right over there It's the news event of the year. Canada's most controversial premier sits down with Canada's most controversial journalist and everything is on the table. Come watch Ezra Levant one-on-one with Alberta Premier Danielle Smith in front of a live studio audience in Calgary. Nothing's off limits, nothing's held back. Questions that would make Justin Trudeau invoke martial law, answers that will make Stephen Gilbo pee his pants. You're not going to want to miss this one but you have to be there in person at the Rebel News Live mega conference in Calgary on October the 5th. Tickets are limited, so drop everything and go to rebelnewslive.com right now. Special discounted prices for Patriots and special extra high prices if you're with the CBC. Go to rebelnewslive.com now.